Hi, my name's James Doherty. I'm a professional esports driver for Renault Formula One team. My name is Kimi Larsson. I'm from Sweden. I'm 23 years old. I'm Sven Zerner. I'm from Germany. I'm 19 years old. I'm a professional F1 esports driver for Team Renault. And I'm here to talk this through together with MTV. And I'm going to tell you how I got my awesome job. To be a professional esports driver, you have to be very focused and have the dedication and motivation to really like get into it because there are hours and hours you have to spend to, to train on the game. I think it's the same for what a real Formula 1 driver would be. It'd be a lot of dedication, um, a lot of time. Um, when you might want to be doing something else at time, you've really got to put in the practice and the hard work. A lot of practice. Like in every sport, you have to do it again and again and again. Just the mental toughness you need and just to deal with the pressure. For sure, you need talent for every sport you need it. But a lot of people have a lot of talent. Um, almost every driver here can win um, the F1 eSports. It's about just how much you want it, really. Uh, the best job in the world for me. At one side, no risk. And real cars, I mean, you can damage, you can hurt. And at the other side, you can, you can have all the feelings. It's something I've always wanted to do. It's a dream come true, for sure. And I just want to just keep on doing it for the rest of my life. So I watched all the F1, uh, F1 races with my dad together. Since I was a little boy, I've, I've been driving in real life with go-karts and everything and competing against uh, yeah, the higher level with other drivers. And so I started to play on a PlayStation 4 and the Formula 1 games when they came, uh, came out. And at, the, at some point there were, there were a championship and I tried it and it wasn't too bad, so I could go here. <laughs> um, I used to do real racing and back in the day against Jack Aiken, um, who's also part of Renault Formula 1 team. Actually driven against uh, one of the drivers from here, Carlos Sainz, and also one of the famous guys like uh, Nico Müller and Rafael Marcello. You need so much money to go through karting, to go into the Formula 1, uh, the Formula um, cars. I couldn't continue that because of finance and I've always been an avid player of games and the Formula 1 games. But the simulators, it's not this expensive, so you can you can afford it and you can play long and very hard for it. I realised I was pretty good at it, uploading content, um, just to try and help people get into the game. And so I had the talent in it and I just pursued it and now I'm here today. My typical day is uh, I'm studying at the university and I'm studying game design and programming and my minor is programming. And my day-to-day -day job is a pensions administrator so it's quite a bit different um, from being an esports player for a Formula 1 team. I have a second job um, as a car seller so up to 6pm I go work there. So after that 9 till 5, um, pretty much a few hours every single day. And when I come home I go to my simulator and play and play and play about 5-6 hours after the work. You've just got to put the time in. Uh, it's just all about practice and playing against people who are better than you. First of all, the, the third place last year helped me a lot. So say so my talents, I saw what I can do. And so we, we came into some conversations and it matched quite good. We have to do physical tests, we have to do reaction tests, and uh, basically the whole con concept as a real Formula 1 driver has a one of the similarity as, as F1 eSports driver. Regular F1 you have to be, be a bit stronger in neck and these things. We don't have it, I mean we just have the simulator. But you need to feel even more because you can't feel with your body. All you feel is in a wheel and in the pedals. It has a big similarity because it's, a, it's the same mindset of, of everything, like being uh, racing in real life and racing in the, in the game itself. That's a lot to practice, to feel the, the noises from the wheel and everything. The coolest memory is this, for sure. Without a doubt, it's been signed by Renner, um, Formula 1 team. I don't think there's anything that can top that. And and my job here is just to help achieve the, the victory for them. So This week here is Renault. It's so, so great to see the factory and all this stuff. Being part of an official F1 team at Renault, which just has a lot of history behind it. Amazing. Yeah, sure. I was in, in Germany um, at the Grand Prix and I met Sainz, I met Hülkenberg and really, really cool. <laughs> I've met a lot of people um, behind the scenes. I haven't actually met the drivers yet, which I really hope I do. Um, I know Jack Aiken. I used to race against him in real life racing before. Uh, Nico Hülkenberg is someone I've been a really big fan of for many, many years. I think he's been pretty unlucky in F1. Um, so, but I think he's probably one of the most talented people in F1, so I'm really, really looking forward to meeting him. I haven't met uh, Nico yet um, to this stage, but I met Carlos in back 
back in the days, but uh, I'm looking forward to meet them soon. Mm, I would say Hulkenberg. It would be Nico Hulkenberg. I, I would like to say Nico, but uh, I, I want to get a one versus one against Carlos because uh, I, ran, I raced against him in the, in the younger Formula. Me. <laughs> nah, maybe in a game. <laughs> I'd like to say me, but I think he'd be pretty hard to beat as well. So. I would say math. Game design does real help because we, we study this MDA framework which is like mechanical dynamic and aesthetics and really getting the mechanics does help like the thinking like in the input and the output does help to understand the game more. For sure you need it for the strategies which lab you have to pit and all the stuff here you need it. So I'm quite organized, um, like to solve problems um, I think that really translates over um, to esports as well, just having the motivation to try and get better. From an esports driver, you have to be very talented for sure, but also hours and hours of training is one of the main keys to get the success to be, become an an eSports driver. Yeah, my advice is just to be consistent, um, be dedicated, be prepared and to be very, very disciplined. Practice a lot. Just keep focused. If you really want it, then go for it. Don't be afraid to fail. I mean, failing is a part of, of the thing. So just keep your head down and try, try to train, train, train. And... You're not going to be the best straight away. Um, you have the talent. Everyone has the talent. You won't be the best straight away. You just got to keep playing. People are better than you and through time I think you'll get to your full potential. So.